Friendly greetings, this is Torley, <laughs> and you are listening to, well, me of course, I was just adjusting my Zoom H4n. The really cool thing about it is not only is it a portable recorder with a pair of condenser microphones, you notice I put this wind cap over it so that it's more resistance to when I go Otherwise, it crunches really ugly and nasty, like holding a cell phone in the wind, you know, don't like that. So it's hard to see here. Pardon. Oh, actually, let me let me see if I can take this up, up here for your benefit. Just loosen it. Pretty cool, eh? It's a mobile recorder connected to my computer. And right here is the cord to my headphones, which I use for auditioning. Pretty cool stuff. So now it's pointed away from me. My voice isn't that great. I was editing the built-in effects there. So if you can see that, it hopefully, hopefully says it number 50 limit. But I found an even better combination, which I will scroll down to now. And I call this limit two. There we go. Can you hear the difference in my voice? Now it is much more broadcaster friendly and rich. It captures the bass tones better. That's because I ran it through a simulated amp here and also pushed up the limiter levels a little. Let me show you the difference. <laughs> this is what you got to do to get into voiceover. Eh? So I can go into edit, edit here. And then you see it says AGMPRE. I'm actually, I forget what that stands for. I got to look up the manual, but it sounds nicer because you can change the preamp and there's some that are sounding better than others. Like, okay, so on and off, it's on right now, on. And now it's off. See, now it distorts and crushes, uh, not so good. You got to adjust it, on, on and you can select from different models here. So some of them are gonna sound really distorted. Get prepared for that. Get prepared this summer, a new... <laughs> okay, let's see. Da, da, da. It's a ferret, so see, there's different ones. Just scroll through them. And let's go back to this one. And what I also have on, there's low cut and stuff you wanna reduce rumble. That's not too big of a concern for me. What's really neat though, oh, level, let's see if we can turn that up. Level, 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 level. Hello there, this is Torley, even louder. I may have to tweak further, that may be too boomy. We'll, we'll see. What's really neat though, I'll go that, mm, come on, go back down, go back down to 80. What I really like here, in these options, this ZNR, this is noise reduction. So we turn down to zero, and you can hear the background. Turn it up too far, it gates everything that's too soft below a given threshold, so there's silence. Like that. But you set it too high, and it becomes unnatural, because when you make like little movements, it's still and the peaks like that don't stand out. So I set it to three, and that seemed pretty reasonable and then exit and also i have a limiter in place here it's not the greatest limiter but it's a handy little unit which prevents peak overloads Cl digital clipping which is nasty so that helps boost and pump my sound up a little as you can see on the screen it's in the nice healthy near the green but okay you don't want to get into red too much when it peak overloads but you notice it's just it's it's <laughs> oh don't, don't don't speak like that too much but it isn't harshly clipping as long as they speak a reasonable distance see about a six inches to a foot or so and then i do this magical voice thing hello and friendly greetings do note on the windows side of things if you're wondering about my second life video tutorials i use a different mic because it's a pain to switch back and forth which is it's also good it's a let me see here i'll put this down I'm not using the other mic right now at the moment. I'm going to adjust this further later. That's what an audio mad scientist... Well, Des, okay, I got to tweak that too. Well, so on this side, I have a Samson. Looks fancy, doesn't it? Very durable bass here. The Samson C01U, US, uh, for USB, and it's got a windscreen and all that sort of stuff. And I'm playing with the settings on that side. So it does sound different, but on both these computers, then I will have something really cool to play with. And what I enjoy is creating these really quick, fun screencasts, video tutorials on my Mac. Oh, you can hear the birds still. That's nice. 
is making them very quickly in ScreenFlow and rendering it out and putting it up there with effects already in here. I don't have to run an additional processing chain. Whereas if you're geeking out like me in Sony Vegas, which is where I do the Windows based Second Life video tutorials, I do have to have a custom process chain. Takes longer and more post-production, but for that specific purpose, it's worth it. So both the spontaneous on the Mac and the more procedural, I would say, the more methodical, more manipulative <laughs> on my Windows PC. And I have a switch. If you could see my whole setup, I switch between two using the same set of monitors, just a insight. And it's cool. I love hearing about people's setups and how you arrive at a given set of equipment. Maybe a friend recommended it to you. Perhaps you discovered it reading reviews and you try it on your own. You go through several sets. If there's something starter, then you discover, I really like this. I'm going to become a pro. And then you invest in something more expensive, which is also something good. Don't buy something because it's expensive. That sucks, obviously. <laughs> as obvious as that sounds, it may not be to everyone. Anyway, end of this video, just want to show you that sorts of things. And if you're looking for a cool, handy mobile recorder, I am liking my Zoom H4n. Also got good support in this. And by the way, the same parent company as the, the Samson one, I believe. So very, very neat that way. <laughs> get, get you covered. And I'm still testing that Samson now. We'll find out how much I like it. I used to use a headset mic, but then I end up with too much frequency. The frequencies weren't capturing very full. And as I get better and learn at these sorts of things behind the scenes, I am gradually evolving.